Hey YouTube, this is a new series I'm running called Fun with Geometry, and let's get started. Uh, just for your information throughout the video, you can always look down here in order to get what keystrokes I am hitting. For example, if I were to hit A, let's see, A, S, D, and you can hear my uh, computer um, <clears throat> reacting badly. Anyway, so... Uh, I'm going to open up AutoCAD, and let's have some fun with geometry. Impossible. My son doesn't believe that it's possible. <laughs> so this is a really simple tutorial. Uh, I was out on a job site, and I had to cut a board in three exact uh, portions. Uh, it was a piece of 4 by 8 plywood, and I didn't know exactly how to do it. But I didn't have a ruler. Uh, wait a minute. I had a ruler, but I didn't have a calculator. And so I didn't want to have to calculate what is 96 divided by uh, 3. And why is that so hard? What's 96 divided by 3, Oliver? 32. Why is I don't know why that was so hard. Okay, so let's say it's 94 divided by 3. Ooh, then it becomes an issue. All right, so here we go. Let's just get into it. In AutoCAD, I'm going to go ahead and make a rectangle, REC, space, click, and I'm going to go, let's say, let's call it something stupid, like 56 inches to the left uh, and 20... Uh, 25 inches high. All right. So how do we split this into three equal parts? Uh, one, two, three. Let me show you some quick math. Uh, I'm going to make a line. I'm going to grab the corner. I'm going to go to the other corner. Click. I'm going to go to the middle. And then I'm going to go to the other corner. And then I'm going to go to the other corner. Boom. Now, amazingly enough, and it looks like it's not right, but this point and this point right here are, uh, they, they, if you draw a line perpendicular to an edge, you will get this board cut into three equal sections. So if you do line, uh, I'm going to hit F8 to go into ortho, so I'm straight. All right, that way. And then I'm going to hit my space bar to do the same thing. Line, click, and then end. And then I'm going to hit EX for extend. Here's my boundary of my extents. I'm going to hit my space bar. I'm going to click there and there. There and there. All right. Right click to end. Now I'm going to select all these lines. I'm going to hit escape because I had something going on there. I'm going to get all those lines. I'm going to hit E to erase. And sure enough, it looks like equal sections. Woohoo! All right. So now let's test it. So we're going to make a dimension line and it's dim linear enter let me go here what is that 18666 here 18666 and here and I'll put it on there 18666, yay! Equal parts, equal parts, equal parts. All right, escape. Now, let's say we want to do it the other way. So we simply do the same thing. I'm going to do a line, L, enter, and I'm going to go to the middle, and then uh, take ortho out again. Let's see. Uh, Oh, I would go to the 
corner, corner, escape, here to here, all right, escape. Wow, that's kind of interesting. This, where it crosses, it lines up with those. So, um, huh, we could have done it the other way. Anyway, so now we're going to do line from there and ortho F8. Like that. And then EX for extend. Here's my limit. I'm going to hit enter or spacebar again. And like that, hit escape. I'm going to select all these lines and, oh no, I don't want it. I want to select these lines, that line, and I'm getting excited here. E for S. Woohoo! So now we have equal parts that way and equal parts that way. All right, man. YouTube, thanks for watching. Um, it's been a, a blast, and um, I hope you had as much fun as I did. So uh, like and subscribe if you uh, like the video, and um, uh, subscribe to my channel while I'm making bubbles, and uh, um, whatever. All right. Uh, if you know anyone that could use this uh, in a in their daily work or anything, uh, go ahead and share the video with them, okay? All right. Take care, YouTube. Have fun. Bye.